Uh, we got to the lower 90s yesterday. I think it was 92 out at the airport. We solidly were at 90 all afternoon long, and the same thing is going to happen again today. The only difference between yesterday and today, we're going to throw that 20% rain chance at you. Wow. It's exciting. 72 in Plant City, 77 in Palm Harbor. Got a bunch of 70s from Brooksville, uh, Brooksville excuse me, to Inverness to Crystal River. 71 in Dade City. Sarasota at 77. And then the lower 70s, Polk, Hardy, DeSoto, and Highlands County. Dew points are up there, lower 70s, mid 70s along the coast. So you kind of feel on the humidity. Not as dry as it was a couple of days ago, but not a massive difference as well. Around the periphery of this high, we've seen a couple of showers trying to develop. No big deal. This high is sinking south. So in general, our winds are going to be probably pretty light, but maybe out of the west over the next couple of days. And that will tend to at least bring a little bit of extra moisture. And it's the rain chances... 20 to 40 percent today, 20 tomorrow, 40 percent. Big picture of the Atlantic. Here's your here's your trough developing. Okay, high pressure in control north of Hurricane Lee, which oh by the way, um, the Hurricane Center says it looks like this is beginning to ramp up. This is beginning to show signs that it wants to rapidly intensify. It was showing an eye or in the center earlier around some of this deep convection, so it's had trouble with that, but. Everything in front of this storm screams rapid intensification. The way the waters are, the no wind shear. I mean, everything just says, and the computer models are all on board with this storm becoming a massive, massive hurricane. Now, this is the Fox model. This is Monday night. Obviously, here we are. So you can see the approximation of the storm to the state of Florida. And it's at this point, it's supposed to start to turn northward. But I want you to look at this convection around the center of this storm. And you notice how we don't have some of these rain bands. The models and some of them are predicting this could become what we call an annular hurricane, which you see a huge eye and the deep convection. Look at it wrapped around this. So we'll watch, but this is going to be at least a category four storm, maybe getting up to category five as it moves north of these islands over the weekend. Here's the official forecast track from the Hurricane Center. 155 mile per hour winds on Sunday. Then on Monday into Tuesday is when it's projected to make that turn. The closer it gets to the U.S., the better chance it has, of course, of getting up toward New England or southeast Canada. So there's a lot of things to watch but in the short term, next 72 hours to 84 hours, it will just continue to move west-northwest and strengthen. For us, 92 degrees, partly cloudy and hot for you. Our rain chance goes 20% today, 40% tomorrow and Saturday. Then we'll settle right back into a 30% rain chance for the second half of the weekend.